Well, folks, we just got some bad news, everybody. I know you wanted some bad news. I know you wanted some bad news. Now, no doubt, there has been good news after good news for Call of Duty. And a lot of people are really, really excited. People are bricked up right now. People are doing helicopters with their release. And everybody's excited right now, right? Like, I love to see that. I love to see that about Call of Duty. It's been a minute since I've seen everybody being hyped. I mean, holy crap, I didn't even see Blame Truth. Yeah, Blame Truth is super excited about this game. He almost creamed the other day, right? But check this out. Like this video if you like it, dislike if you do. Or I should say, like the video if you do not want what is about to come. Dislike if you want it, but check this first of all, roll it. We have extremely bad news for Black Ops 6, and I don't mean to be the carrier of this information because the reveal has been phenomenal. Yeah. Almost yeah. no downsides at all. It looks like a very polished game. However, there seems to be a big caveat, and this <clears> is going <throat> to be extremely bad for both the Zombies uh -oh. fans and So, extremely bad, and for both and zombies fans okay so what what about both what about yeah yeah who are we talking zombies fans yes but who else who else wait for the climax guys this but i hit you hard boys uh let's see and campaign enjoyers because on Call of Duty's okay. website it says is an internet connection required to play Black Ops 6 to which they responded saying to deliver the highest quality visuals whilst also reducing the game's overall storage space on your hard drive Black Ops 6 will use texture streaming across all game modes this means you'll need a continuous internet connection to play any game mode including the campaign okay. if you're on console campaign can be played without a premium subscription service oh, such wow. as Game Pass wow. Core or PlayStation Plus so basically in summary this means that Black Ops 6 cannot be played offline in any yeah. way, shape, or form, and they are- and, and I know, like, before you get- This is just plot twist number one, right? Wait for the climax, and I know some people would be like, yeah, Everybody got internet, everybody- Nah, bro, not everybody got internet! Not everybody got internet! But here's the thing, okay? I actually used this argument before in a video, which I'm not sure if, if that video will go first, or this video will go first, but here's the thing, right? Here's the thing! Not everybody got internet, but it feels like that everybody got internet. Okay, whatever, right? Why is this problematic? Well, simply put, if you're playing... Forget about the campaign for a second, right? Yeah, apparently you also need the internet for the campaign. It be what it be. So, forget about the campaign for a second. Let's actually be objective about it, right? Like, you're playing zombies, right? You're on round 100. I don't even know how you can get to round 100 anymore with this. Uh, but, but wait for it, wait for it, okay? But let's just say somehow you got lucky and you got to be on round 100. Life is amazing, you know, you're doing helicopters, you're, you're doing backflips, you're like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever, zombies amazing, Black Ops 6 amazing, yes daddy, uh, and you're at uh, on round 100, yeah, life's beautiful, then it's like, oh man, I don't know bro, like, I, I, I feel like uh, uh, getting some food, right, because it's time that you eat something, okay, or maybe you need to go outside and do something, okay, and you go outside, you leave your house, you leave your apartment, uh, you pause the game to go outside or you know simply go take a piss or walk your dog perhaps uh, don't let your dogs out by the way guys very important uh, not the best days we're living in right now okay do not do not let your dogs out but but okay perhaps you pause the game and you went to do something guess what if your internet goes out for a second that's it! Your game's done so! Oh, your game's done so! 100 rounds that you perhaps took hours and hours to reach. It's done! It's done so! It's over! Fineto, done so, gonzo! Gonzo, it's over! It's over. So that's where it's at. Now, back in the days when you were playing solo, we had this beautiful thing called pausing button where you click the pause let me actually show you let me be a dreamcast guy for a second and bring in my controller you know what i'm saying so you had this controller right you click this simple button pause simple simple that's what it was and it was done after that it's like bro even if your internet ran out whatever this that it was fine it was fine Right, as at least on the local play, but now we're not getting local plays. What we're hearing, it's like I, I, I don't know, man. So it, it, a lot of people better be extremely mad and frustrated if they reach round 100 and if their internet just goes out for even a second. Sometimes you know you have to reconnect to your internet. Right? Ever heard of that? 
requiring you, it's a mandatory demand, to utilize texture streaming. Now, they've had texture streaming for the past couple Call of Duties, or few Call of Duties, or whatever, but it's always been an optional thing you can do, and basically, this is implemented to try and reduce the overall game size of the Call of Duty HQ, because it's getting massive, but in them attempting to reduce the game size, it's creating an even bigger problem, and I just don't understand why they are requiring you to have texture streaming enabled, yeah. when in the past, it's always been an option. And what this means is that in the future, when inevitably the Black Ops 6 servers will shut down, I don't know, in 20 years or whatever, however long, the game will never be able to be played again. Ever. Damn. Game preservation is completely Damn. dead. This is happening to so many video games, not just Call of Duty. There's a yeah. big trend where all games now are moving to online only, but it's negating the fact that most people don't have that good internet, and everyone experiences problems with them. And this yeah. is extremely- e even, even if you have good internet, guys, like, listen, sometimes, you know, even if you have some of the best internet, I got very good internet as well, but you know, sometimes it happens uh, where it goes out for a couple of minutes, right? Uh, and you do not know when it's gonna do that or when it's gonna go out. And if you have your game paused uh, uh, at the wrong time, wrong place, wrong time, it's over, bro. So, I, I, yeah, this, uh, I, I feel like that everybody should talk about this one. Like the video if you do not want this. I, I dislike the video if you don't. I mean, I'm still gonna give you the option, but like... Holy crap, bro! Like, what? What is going on? Yo, yeah, this shouldn't be a thing, man. This thing is crazy. This thing is crazy. Y'all suckers have been making games for how long now? Huh? How long? How long? I mean, come on, damn it! Like, think about this. I, 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 I guess I figured it out, guys. I think I figured out. I figured it out. The reason they need 24/7 online is because of the. This is probably why they need it, because they realize that if people are not connected to the servers 24-7, how are they gonna buy the friendly UAV online? Right, exactly, right? To play with the friendly UAV online, you need to be connected uh, online 24-7. This is why it's called friendly UAV online. You need to be online though. Yay, see what I'm saying? Exactly, yay, exactly. That's, yeah, uh, logic, logic concerning for both the campaign or zombies because if the servers ever go offline if your internet ever goes offline you're just booted from the game you can no longer play or if your internet is acting up you will lag in your game even if you are just playing the campaign or zombies solo Imagine. if you are unaware with vanguard zombies they move to dedicated servers even if you are playing a solo game and you would experience Bruh. loads of packet loss Bruh. and lagging both modern warfare 3 zombies and vanguard zombies are detrimental to okay, th this one i didn't know because I didn't play too much Wayne Garbage Zombies because it wasn't that good. So I, I I remember playing it on launch, like day one when it came out. Didn't like it, therefore I just pieced out and I did. But I didn't, I was not aware of this. This is crazy, bro. This, you this experience so much lag and it's just absolutely ridiculous. And it seems like this is going to be back for Black Ops 6 Zombies. Even if you have good internet, there's still probably going to be server issues you will experience on solo play. It's ridiculous. Solo should be solo and that's that. Why is there no offline? play either you are literally forced to use this texture streaming method so you won't even be able to get the textures to play offline that's why there's no offline play because the servers are just going to be downloaded from the crowd Crazy. now the textures download whilst you are looking we need offline play we need uh, gamers demand gamers man free Gamers man, pausing button gamers demand <laughs> local play bro we used to have local play what is going on? We used to have local play uh, and offline support back in the days, bro. Now, for multiplayer, wow, I, I get that. For multiplayer, yes, you need online. Okay, yeah, nobody's talking about that. But to play campaign? To play zombies solo? I'm not even talking, like, playing zombies with your buddies. Oh, of course, at that point, you need internet, like, duh. But for solo play, for solo, right? Like, like what we doing there, man? What we doing, man? Like, come on, man. Like, what are we doing? Loading into the match during the loading screen, so it's not something in-game, or at least maybe in the campaign on some of the larger maps, it might be, I'm not exactly sure, but at the same time, you are still going to potentially experience lag in the game, and this is extremely bad for higher round Holy. zombie players as well, because Whoa. this means there's literally no offline option for you. If you're trying to go for a high round and you might be playing for a couple days or longer, it's likely yeah. you might experience... Yo, couple... <laughs> <laughs> Couple days or longer. Holy crap. I remember, man. Zombies. 
Man, Zombies fans used to be like this right back in the days, and I, I miss that. It's been a couple of years. I I remember Black Ops 3 came out all the way back in 2015. It doesn't mean that people didn't do after Black Ops 3 Zombies was out, or after like other zombie games or Call of Duty Zombies games were out, but but Black Ops 3 Zombies and Black Ops 2 Zombies was the prime, where suckers would try to play the game for days on end. Like, uh, like imagine playing the same game for 7 days straight, 10 days straight. Bruh. Basically, of course, you wouldn't play like 24-7, you would try to play whenever you could, right? But for the, when you would go to work or school or sleep, uh, you would just simply pause the game. Life was simple, man. Life was simple, man. But now you cannot do it, right? Now you cannot do it because uh, what if the your your internet runs out? What if your internet goes down, right? What if you have those connection problems? It's over. It is over connection issues in that time or server issues and if you get disconnected that's it you're over there's no option for offline for you so this is a complete slap in the face to high rounders i really don't know why they've done this like i said they're trying to solve the problem of the call of duty hq being so large but in doing so they've created a much worse problem more, instead. Yeah, more and problems, with vanguard yeah. zombies there was literally no option to pause the game on launch yeah more money more problem more friendly uav onlines and more problems yeah that's what it is i, I think they did it for friendly uav online because it needs to remain online. Now, I assume Black Ops 6 Zombies on Solo will have the option to pause the game, since Vanguard did end up receiving it later on, although I don't think it worked properly, and you could only pause it for a certain amount of time, so I hope they have this sorted now for Black Ops 6 Zombies. They need to have this sorted. You should just be able to pause the game, and it just Damn. stay paused for however long you Damn. want. But the fact that it's going to be on... Imagine, like, all... In all the previous Call of Duty games, you could have paused for no matter how long you want it, right? You could have paused your game till your electricity bill ran out and they those suckers cut your power. <laughs> right? You could have stayed paused in your game till yeah, till then, right? But now in Van Garbage it's it came out with no pausing button. Bruh. And then when they dropped it, I believe it was only two hours max pausing button. Imagine, bro. This suck is crazy, bro. This suck is crazy. And now you gotta, uh, we, we got another factor, all this online thing. So it's uh, essentially, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, buy, but you're not gonna own. There's a quote like that. It's not coming up right now. You're gonna buy, but uh, you're not gonna, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be happy uh, without owning anything. Online yeah. only, and probably using these dedicated servers like Vanguard Zombies did, and I guess Modern Warfare 3. Y you will own nothing and be happy. Zombies, although it has no proper solo play, so that makes sense there. This is so concerning. So there is the potential that, of course, Treyarch or whoever's working on the server side of things could change this before launch. So please just let Call of Duty know on all their social medias that we don't want this. Do it in a respectful way, though. Of course, don't harass them, but this needs to be changed before launch because this could completely ruined the game. This is really, really bad news. I lagged yeah. so much <laughs> playing Vanguard and both Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and if this is going to be the same in Black Ops 6 Zombies, even on Solo, it's just going to be ridiculous. This is going to affect Easter Egg. Guys, uh, Black Ops Zom- or I should say Black Ops 6 beta download ended up leaking out. Okay, click on this video on the screen. Okay, check this out. Uh, we got some good news, yeah, check it out. On the left though, apparently this happened as well. I'm not sure if you guys were able to see it or not. Yep, check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.